So I got a question for you guys. Should benzodiazepines be made illegal? I see it all the time in the benzo forums. I see it in the comment section. Uh, people just outraged by, and, and understandably so, outraged from the hell that they've endured through uh, this horrible drug. And they're angry at their doctors, and they're angry, angry at life sometimes. But more so, they're angry at the drug. They don't see the purpose of it. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts? Should benzodiazepine be, uh, be made illegal? Um, should there be more laws around it? Prescription rights, uh, prescription practices, maybe shorter prescription uh, periods, better protocol for coming off the drug? I would say yes to both of those things. Now, if you're asking me, my opinion, I think benzodiazepines are great. And hear me out before you hit that dislike and jump off this video. I think they're great uh, in small doses for short periods or used uh, as needed over at that point if you take one benzo you know one Valium or Xanax to help you get th through some kind of phobia or some kind of panic attack once a week twice a week you can have success um, I know people that have been taking benzodiazepine Valium for example for 20 years 20 years and and I would say every month sometimes every week and right off the bat you would say well then they're they've got to have tolerance to dependence right but they don't and the reason is they don't take it every day and they don't take it um you know they're not taking high dosages they take it when they have a panic attack when say they have a, a fear of bridges and they go i gotta drive over a bridge every you know couple weeks or something like that take a xanax take a, a little bit of volume and it's fine you can actually have long-term success with Valium if you take it as needed. The problem is, is when you take it every single day over a prolonged period and your brain starts to, you know, adapt. Uh, so with that said, do I believe benzodiazepines are evil and should be illegal? No, they're a wonderful drug. Just like opiates, um, just like Oxycontin is a wonderful drug. If you've come out of surgery or you have a, a severe pain, uh, from some kind of injury, you realize the value of opiates really quick. They're just not a long-term, oh, excuse me, a long-term solution. They're they're a short-term uh, solution for a long-term problem. So, with that said, I look at benzodiazepine now as crutches. You know, you can't live on crutches. You use crutches to heal a leg, a broken leg, and then you throw the crutches down. And you move on. So, those are, uh, I guess, those are my thoughts. It's not. Probably, probably people are going to disagree and say, no, it's a horrible drug and it should be outlawed. And of course, you do hear stories where people say, you know, I took the drug for a couple days or a couple weeks or even a couple months. And now I'm totally my life is totally um, turned upside down. And to that, you know, I'm not entirely sure if cause uh, cause is correlation, you know, uh, excuse me, correlation is causality in that case. Uh, could it be something else? Could there have been some other underlying thing and that we are now just uh, putting it all on the benzo? I mean, realistically, taking a benzo once, twice, or even a couple, you know, every day for a couple months is not really enough to cause severe enough brain changes that you would have prolonged, uh, persisting, you know, prolapse withdrawal five years removed. Now, that said, benzo uh people do have reactions to benzos and combined with other drugs combined with other mental conditions even in a short term period what can happen uh particularly with the withdrawal even after a short term is it's just enough say when you're hanging out there on that ledge it's just enough sort of to push you over but again it's not the benzo that that necessarily uh um, did you in as much as you were already kind of teetering maybe it was severe depression or severe uh, social anxiety and then when you came off the benzo it was just enough to push you over and now you got agoraphobia so again to reiterate I don't personally think benzodiazepines should be made illegal I don't think they're the devil I just think we need to really reconsider uh, why we prescribe them how long we prescribe them for and most definitely our protocol for getting people off them and we need to be spending more money on treatment for people coming off benzos. More money in treatment for drugs that can actually help people come off benzos. You know, if you're addicted to opiates, severely addicted, we can give you drugs that will 
greatly reduce symptoms, can even make you feel good, and then you can go through the withdrawal so much easier. It's so much easier to come off pain pills or even heroin than it is uh, benzodiazepine. I mean, there's almost nothing we can do for benzodiazepine uh, withdrawal, unfortunately. So leave a comment, let me know what you think. Should uh, benzodiazepines be made illegal? Do you agree with me? Do you have a new, uh, do you have a different perception on the matter? Leave a comment and, uh, you know, drop a like if you, if you like the video. Thank you.